I hope you're ready for the largest book haul you've ever seen. A Fort Sumter to Perryville by Shelby Footy. Now, if you can't tell, there's a lot of very strange books in here. I'm just kind of getting started with this. We're going to do them all. And the reason I have a ton of weird books is my dad gave me a large portion of his collection. So I'm excited to go through these and start reading a ton of classics and old school, deep cut kind of fantasy stuff that not a lot of people know about now. So if you're going to continue watching my channel, be prepared to be educated on some old school ass fantasy and sci-fi. Speaking of sci-fi, the original Jurassic Park book, the book the movie was based on. I've heard the characters are very different in this and I'm excited to dig in. Hawaii. I know nothing about this, but it's by James A. Mc I don't do names, so this video is going to have a lot of mispronunciation. Footfall by Larry Nevin and Jerry Pornell. Chesapeake, James A. <laughs> Again, and apparently these are good books, though they're very low on the list to read. When I get to what's first on the list to read after what I'm currently reading, which is Malazan by Steven Erickson, I think, these will be next. And what is next is the John Carter of Mars series. A long series, each book you can do in about a day. And I'm going to go through these for my dad because they're his favorite books. And I think I owe him that in the least. And I have all of them. And I think first editions. So this will be fun. Old School Prince of the Lord of the Rings that I'm very happy I have now. Certainly not first editions, but some very nice prints indeed. Magician or Magican. Magican. Magician. By Raymond E. Feist. Uh, again, low on the list, but eventually might get read. Michael Creighton and his book, The Terminal Man. Creighton? Churchin? Critchin? Man being dyslexic sucks ass. Something fairly high on my list of things to read. Yeah, Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. Now, I'm liberal as shit. And I'm going into this knowing it's like the Bible for conservatism. I just want to know the other side because I'm a very big believer in knowing both sides. By the way, we're like maybe a tenth of the way in. The Pelican Brief, very, very low on the list. Maybe it will never get read. Maybe it will. The Andromeda Strain. Andro yeah, it's the Andromeda Strain by Michael Christian <laughs> again. Uh, again, I don't know this guy, but... You know, we'll see if that ever gets read. It might. It probably will. I'm planning on doing all of these before I die. Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians. Boy, that, that sounds racist. And the fact there's a noose on the cover. Oh, that's... I have no idea what I'm getting into there. Let's hope it's good. Something that my dad and I kind of both laughed at when he gave to me. It's a book by Isaac Asimov. And I bet you can't guess it. The serious... <laughs> <laughs> the sensuous, dirty old man. The sensuous, dirty old man. By the god of sci-fi himself, Isaac Asimov. I am... This is a high priority right here. Um, a lot of stuff by Fritz Lieber. It seems to be one series. It's the Farhad and the Grey Mauser. These are high on the list because they came highly recommended from my dad. So eventually, these will be talked about. Something I'm very excited for... Contact by Carl Sagan. This should be super dope to get into. One of the godfathers of fantasy, Terry Brooks and the Black Unicorn. Very low on the list, but that is... I miss when artwork was like this, when clearly the people who designed these books did a lot of acid. That was a good time. The Penetrators by Anthony Gray. Know nothing about it, low on the list, or maybe never going to get read. Alice Babylon by Pat Frank, low on the list, maybe never going to get read. I'm going to change the order drastically by what people down in the comments say. Don't worry, there will still be some modern new stuff in what my videos are coming out. There's just going to be an underlying thread of older things as well. This is something that is high on the list because it's by one of my favorite authors of all time, The End of Eternity by Isaac Asimov. I will read anything Asimov touches. My dad actually met him, and he has a cool story about that. And if he lets me, I'll record him one day and make it a video about how he met Isaac Asimov. The Elfstone of Shannara by Terry Brooks. 
I've never read a Terry Brooks book in my life, and I'm excited to pick one. Let me know in the comments which one I should do first. Now, I've already read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I have not read A Restaurant at the End of the Universe, and that is high on the list because I loved, loved, loved the first one. The Tolkien Reader, I have no idea what this is. Uh, it seems to be a collection of stories and other things that just kind of go along with uh, the Middle Earth that are written by Tolkien, and this is high on the list as well because I want to read everything Tolkien ever wrote. And so anything that's just a collection of his, I'm down. Hey, more Tolkien stuff. Uh, Smith of Wooten Major Foreman Giles of Ham. No idea what this is, but I'm gonna read it. Now, this is interesting and something I certainly did not see coming. Apparently, William Shatner can write books. I didn't know he could read. So this is going to be interesting. These are medium on the list, I would say. I'm very interested to see what... William Shatner's writing is like. Terry Brooks, Magic Kingdom, for sale, sold. Uh, I think this might be on the higher end of the Terry Pratchett list, just because it's that's interesting. I don't know. Something high on the list, because I've heard a lot about it. The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Uh, I've heard a lot about this. I'm going in with high hopes. It's going to be good. Arthur Clarke, 2061, Odyssey 3. So many reasons why I'm going to read it. Don't even need to elaborate. Stop scratching my butt, Fox. A couple Star Trek books are in here. I'm not even going to show them all, but I'm just interested to see if Star Trek ever had some good books as well as their amazing TV shows and existing movies. The Firm. Very low on the list. I hate books with dramatic covers like this. I'm judging a book by its cover. Twice Shy. I, uh... I'm not shy, but uh, I'll, I'll maybe read it one day. Winter's Tale by Mark Halperin. I don't remember putting this in the box, but... It came. Maybe I'll read it. Whip Hand. I feel racist reading that by Dick Francis, the best-selling author of The Edge. Uh, again, don't remember putting this in. Seems to be a book about a jockey. Maybe I'll read it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stop making videos. We don't know. The Chamber by John Grisham. No idea what this is either. Low on the list. Michael Churchin again. Apparently I'm never going to pronounce his name right. Congo, author of Rising Sun. Maybe if I should read one of his books, maybe it'll be this one. Maybe not. Let me know. I'm sure one of you guys knows which one of his books are worth reading. The Born Identity. I love this movie. I'm very excited to read the book it was based off of because the name looks like it's popping out when I do that in the camera. So I'm going to do it a couple more times. But I'm excited to see the source material because apparently there's pretty big tonal differences. And I'm down to see that. Hey, I think we're maybe halfway there. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Of course, I'm going to read that. Forever War. Don't know anything about this. Maybe I'm going to read it. Let me know if I should. Michael Moorcock, Stormbringer. I love his name so much. Friedrich Forsyth, The Day of the Jackal. Nothing, know nothing about it. Arthur C. Clarke, Rendezvous with Rama. Again, I'm certainly going to read it. It's Arthur C. Clarke. The Making of 2001 Space Odyssey. I might not do a review when I read this. I doubt people want to know my review of The Making of one of my favorite movies of all time, but if I read it, I'll let you guys know at least on Twitter or something. Another 2001 Space Odyssey book. If you can't tell, I like the movie. Larry Niven, uh, a book by him called The Magic Goes Away. I'm always interested in books that have trippy-ass covers with scantily clad women, so why not? Star Science Fiction Stories number two. Guess who's on this that I want to read? You know, it looks pretty dope, so I think I'm going to read some of it. C.S. Lewis, Perlandia. I am going to read it because I've heard great things about C.S. Lewis. And this, again, trippy cover. I judge books by their covers very frequently and read them off that. And so, you know what? That's what led me to Wheel of Time, so it's what I'm going to keep going forward with. Stephen King, Stand By Me. I'm not a huge Stephen King fan, but I am love this movie. And if the book is anything close to as good, I'll check this out for sure. Basically, you're seeing the future of my channel for the next couple of years. The Born Supremacy, because, you know, I can't start a series without finishing it. Holy mother of God, <laughs> we're not even close, y'all. Oath of Fealty. Dune. You. Dune. Sequel. The Star Beast by Robert A. Heinlein, which, you know, Heinlein's awesome. The Green Hills of Earth by Robert A. Heinlein. Again, Heinlein's awesome. The Time for the Star, Time for the Stars by Heinlein. This will apparently even cost 75 cents. He didn't make much money off selling this, but I love Heinlein. Heinlein, The Pass Through Tomorrow. 
Nevin, the patchwork girl. Nevin, the world of Pitvas. Pit, Pitav, Pitavs, Pitavs. I just love the artwork in this one, so I grabbed it from my dad. And I'm excited to read it. Larry Niven, Protector. Again, trippy ass artwork. I'm down. Guess who? Nevin! Uh, a gift from Earth. Dune, you, I'm done. Oh, you want to see what's left? All right, well, if we look in the box, uh, many, many more books. J.R. Tolkien, The Cimmerillion. I read that once. I'll never put myself through it again. Lost Boys by Orson Scott Card. Guess who? More William Shatner, who apparently can, you know, write and read and stuff. Good for him. Green Pearl by Jack Vance. And Andre Norton, Dread Companion. I don't get when authors make their names bigger than the titles. Can you, you, the, the title's more important. I guess not. I don't know. I like it when the title's bigger. The Gift of the Unicorn. Why were unicorns so popular? An entire series. Uh, I can't. The Fantastic Ventures of Doc Savage by Kenneth. Oh, they're stuck together. The Fantastic Adventures of Doc Savage by Kenneth Robson. I have the entire series here. Uh, I'm going to read them. I can flash you all the covers real quick, but we're low on time, so I'm not going to do that. Terry Brooks, Wizard at Large. That looks awesome. Look at that old-ass man fighting that wizard. Your old-ass man fighting that dragon. You fight that dragon. Good job. Agatha Christie, Inner M. The Hobbit. Heinlein, a farmer in the sky. Probably the first Heinlein I'm going to read. Heinlein, Between Planets. Heinlein, Orphan of the Stars. Heinlein, Starship Troopers. Okay, I lied. This is going to be the first Heinlein I read. Heinlein, The Doctor, The Door into Summer. I should read it before I show it to you. Heinlein, The Door into Summer. Star Trek, adapted by James Blish, 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 Blish. I'm losing my voice listing books. Isaac Asimov again, The Relativity of Wrong. That's awesome sounding. How have I not heard of that? Theodore Sturgeon, Starshine, which again, awesome cover. I love these covers. I'm, oh, I want to make like posters out of these covers. Andre Norton, Quag Keep, again. Dope cover. I love that cover. Arthur C. Clarke, The Lost Worlds of 2001 <laughs> Space Odyssey. I'm sorry, I really love the movie. Oh my god, I did not know this was in here. Guess who wrote this one? I'm, I'm not a Scientologist, and I would never buy this on my own. But uh, I'm going to read a Ron Hubbard book. I'm going to put this pretty high on the list, because I'm curious. Arthur C. Clarke. The Nine Billion Names of God. How many books did he write? Christ. Time Untamed. Isaac Asimov. Badass. I'm going to read it. Probably maybe just Isaac Asimov books. I have stories and get everyone else's. E.E. E. Doc Smith. Skylark 3. Untouched by Human Hands. Robert Sheckley. Juxtaposition by Pierce Anthony. And, uh, eh, the cover is not that great. Step up your cover game. Uh, Pierce Anthony on a pale horse and the death coming in a sports car. If you're gonna make a book, put death in a sports car. That's sick. Oh my gosh. All right. <clears throat> Pierce Anthony, cruel lie, but lie is spelled like lie. So, you know. Oh, it's got more title. A caustic yarn. So, you know, that's cool. Pierce Anthony, Kilo Bite. Okay, this wins the cover. If you can't tell, it's like 8-bit, kind of. And it's a dude fighting a dragon in 8-bit. That's the coolest cover ever. This guy wins. I'm down. <clears throat> Gollum in the Gears. Gollum in the Gears by Panther Pierce Anthony. Got a dude with some giant toads. I guess he got shrunk. He got shrunkified. And he has to survive on the mini world. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right. <clears throat> A spell for Charmeleon, and Charmeleon's apparently a lion, scorpion, bat, face, man. Man, I thought that was a griffin for a second, but that's a weird combination. And that dude has like 1980s, 70s basketball shorts on, so, you know, good for him. Centaur Isle, 
And these dudes are running on a cloud, killing eagle serpents. That's fucking awesome. And one of them's a centaur, and the other one looks like an orc. So, you know, I need to run more and get abs like that. <laughs> Pierce Anthony, Castle Rugna. Ruga, Rugna. Another centaur. We're not centaur roll right now. Two in a row. Horns times ten. A chilling tale. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, by H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, I love Lovecraft. A major novel by Ray Bradbury. Sometimes something wicked this way comes. Uh, so that looks pretty dope. That's too long of a title. I'm just going to show it. I don't feel like reading that. Beyond This Horizon by Robert A. Heinlein. Half of this is Heinlein, for the love of God. If you haven't read Heinlein, shame on you. I've never read Heinlein. <clears throat> Robert Heinlein, Red Planet. Again, awesome cover. Great, great A effort for cover. Blue dudes, red dudes, yellow castle. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451. I've never read this shamefully enough, and I need to. I'm going to read this first for uh, science reasons. So, you know, science. Blue Adept, book two of The Apprentice Adept by Pierce Anthony. Larry Niven Limits, another, the author of Ringworld, which I didn't get, uh, and The Integral Trees. So this looks cool. Decent cover, you know, dramatic. <clears throat> this is a great cover. Pierce Anthony, Heaven Sent. I uh, got some naked people riding a very uncomfortable, awkward-looking skeleton who I imagine is not happy that they're riding him. And what looks like the Grinch, if he got into some blue food dye, and it looks like they're just like, we don't, don't make eye contact. Don't, don't make eye contact with the blue guy. And the skeleton's like, how about you stop making eye contact with me? You're naked in me. So, you know, that's interesting. That's a good cover. The Source of Magic, Pierce Anthony. Pretty good cover. Uh, it's got some dramatic, muscly centaurs. <gasps> a duplicate. The Dragon of Pedestal, Pierce Anthony. Ped pedestal, is that right? Yeah, I've uh, got a little girl on the dragon. That's pretty cool. Ogre, Ogre. Uh, by Pierce Anthony. Got a big, big ogre. You know, looks pretty good. Uh, nightmare. The danger to Zenith was so great that only a nightmare could ho offer help. That's that's an intense premise. Dear God. I had a nightmare the other night where a clown did things. That's who? Pierce Anthony. Not in, not, not Heinlein. Chaining the lady. Related to the Kama Sutra. Uh, Split Infinity. That's that's a guy dueling a unicorn, but the unicorn is not into it. He's like super wanting to fight, and the unicorn's like, can you just stop? I hope that's what the book is like. Duplicate again. Centaur Isle, a new Xanth novel by Pierce Anthony. Oh, God, that's a duplicate. I just wasted your time with another duplicate. Another duplicate. My dad and I went through these, and somehow we got duplicates. Pierce Anthony, Shade of the Tree. That's awesome. Pierce Anthony, Bearing an hourglass. That looks cool. Pierce Anthony. Whoa. Okay. Uh, bit of a space tyrant. The epic adventures of galactic conquest of hope. Hubris. Hubris. That's, that's intense. He's like holding a planet and a missile gun. Nice. Volume 1 of Refuge. Chitin. <laughs> Pierce Anthony, Veil of the Vole. It's a, that's a mean-looking vole. The kid like doesn't even notice. There's a giant monster right there. Come on, man, pay attention. Pay attention. Another red pedestal. I'm, I don't know what to do with these duplicates. Maybe I'll throw them out. Pierce Anthony with a tangled skein, skein. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but she's interesting-looking and not pregnant. Pregnant? I can't tell. But there's swords in her lap, and it kind of looks pregnant. I don't know. Whatever. I don't think she's pregnant. I need to clear my desk after these next two. Pierce Anthony, Cluster Series, Volume 1, Vicinity Cluster. Okay. That's pretty cool. That dude's about to spear that big UFO. And I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to win. Good for him. A Spell for... A, a Spell for Chameleon, Pierce... Oh, God, it's this one again. But this thing... I don't like that guy. He's going to be in my nightmares. The Three of Swords, which is this guy with three swords... I think this is a mildly interesting cover. Ah, a book I've already read that I'm going to recommend, but I'm going to do that last so I can finish off with it. So next, we have Stranger in a Strained Land by Robert Heinlein. Interesting looking book. Uh, the original, first time uncut, whatever that means, that's cool. And then I'm going to end with a book I read that I highly recommend, and it would give a solid 9 out of 10, and that's Ken Follett, Pil <laughs> and that's Ken Follett Pillars of the Earth. Really phenomenal book. Definitely worth checking out. Hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> unboxing or book haul, whatever you want to call it. 
definitely hundreds of books. And uh, yeah, that's the future of at least some of my videos you just saw. Uh, my next book review should be of the Mal Malazan, Malazan series. I'm just starting that. My job starting. I don't have nearly as enough time, as much time to read. So you might get a book review a week. I should be able to still do a book a week, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry, it's slowing down. Uh, but you'll definitely get other videos from me. I hope like more, like my nihilism video and things like that. Uh, I hope you are having a great day. Please like and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.